Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads, Sandwiches, and Savories, published in 1905 in the UK, we're going to be making the New York Sandwich. First thing we got to do, shuck some oysters. Now we're to mince the oysters and add them to mayonnaise. Mmm, -hmm. this looks and sounds delicious. Now we add lemon juice, does not say how much. Coraline pepper, which best I can tell is paprika, does not say how much. Then we put that onto a split roll. And yes, these are the ratios of the sandwich. Don't at me, bro. I didn't make this sandwich up. Okay, let's give this New York sandwich a go. I went into this not sure what to expect, but yeah, that was a textural wasteland. No thank you. And yeah, given that the recipe is 1905, it almost definitely used a handmade mayonnaise as opposed to a store-bought one. But with the chopped up oysters and the oyster liquid, I, I don't think it would have made much of a difference texture-wise. And I like raw oysters. I just don't like it when they're chopped up and mixed in with other kind of creamy or oily ingredients. The very first sandwich I did here on Sandwiches of History was the oyster sandwich from the Up-to-Date Sandwich Book. And it was chopped up raw oysters mixed with olive oil and Worcestershire sauce between buttered bread. Awful. Hated it. Yeah, I'm going to give that a zero because I don't even want to try and hork that down. I do want to apologize to the oysters who gave their lives for that sandwich. It was not worth it. And to Edward at Whole Foods who helped me pick out those oysters. Sorry, man. Uh, yeah, not worth the time or effort. <laughs> All right, I'm going to find something else that's enjoyable to eat for lunch. I'll see you tomorrow.